Well, I'm in big trouble because I got friends and family here, and I can't BS my way through this now. So. Uh, as a wrestler, I was a two-time state champion in Iowa in the Class 2A. Uh, I was a three-time All-American. David Prem was not your average All-American athlete. When it came to wrestling, Prem also found success as a coach, which led many to state titles. It took a lot of our kids when they were going through high school. And Dave was a wrestling coach. After 25 years of coaching, we've had uh, probably over 16, 17 state champion wrestlers that I've helped. But there's one thing that makes Prem unique. I'm not an art critic. It's just what I like because it, it reminds me of outdoors. Is his vast collection of paintings that he has crafted over the years as a successful artist. The idea of being a, a jock in high school and college and then being in the... Uh, art department. Quite a few times in my life I've been asking, how did you get this combination of art and wrestling? Waldorf Gallery Director Dean Swanson admires how Prem brings a unique quality to his watercolors. What I find really unique about David's work is the way that he handles his watercolor. He does what most people would consider very realistic or representational work. Over 500 of Prem's pieces have found their way into private and public collections throughout the Midwest and have even made their way into Norway, France, Australia, Japan, and New Zealand. With watercolors, you don't really have control of how they're going to turn out each time. So sometimes just great things happen. Watercolors is something that I focused on when I got my master's degree. And I think getting my master's degree is what really turned the corner. And as you get older, coaching gets tougher and, and, um, and I, you know, the art is something I'm, I hope to do for many more years. This is Anthony Romaldo, Wall TV News.